Hello, welcome to Start With Toys, where I make custom dolls using My Little Pony and Question Girl minis. I've been growing the Cartoon Network's DC Superhero Girl custom dolls. To date, my superhero and villain collection includes Wonder Woman, Harley Quinn, Supergirl, Bumblebee, and Poison Ivy. The remaining characters, Katana and Batgirl, are still and cute. I was hoping to work on Batgirl for this video, but I still need to pick up materials to make the hood. So my next option is Katana. I have two different versions of Rainbow Dash mini doll. In front of you, the older version is on the right side of the screen, and the latest version is on the left side of the screen. Katana has on a samurai outfit, so I really like to go with the older version of Rainbow Dash. So let me show you the materials I'll be using for this custom. For this custom, I'll be using matte acrylic paint in white, black, red, gray, brown, sunkissed peach, and khaki colors. I'll also need modeling clay to make the katana sword, and a set of acrylic paint brushes, and some water and paper towels by my side. So let's get this custom started. Here we go. First, I'm going to remove Rainbow Dash's hair piece as well as her body so I have more access to paint her hair as well as her skin color. Here I'm using black for the hair and sunkissed peach for her skin color. The paint has dried completely, so I'm moving forward, going to repaint the eyes from pink to brown. Next, I'm using black paint to reshape the eyes, and it's okay to get a little bit sloppy here. I will be using white paint for the mask, so while I do that, I will be correcting my mistakes. While I wait for the white paint to dry completely, I'm going to paint her lips in red. And once the white paint has dried completely, I will then paint on the dot on the center forehead. Moving on to the body, now I'm going to change up the colors to match her outfit.
Moving on to the katana sword, I'm using air dry modeling clay. What I want to do is roll it out and flatten it with a roller. Then use a straight line as guide so I can have two sharp edges. Okay, make sure I get the handle right. I noticed that my sword is a little bit big, so let me go ahead and downsize it and show you the final look. And that is how I transformed My Little Pony Equestria Girl Mini Rainbow Dash into DC Superhero Girl's Katana. I know she's a villain. And I really love the way she turned out. She looks completely different than my Suicide Squad Katana. So here she is on the side of the screen. Comment below and tell me what you think about the two Katanas that I've made in the comment section down below. Please give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. I post all custom videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!